Texas has always been a place that I've enjoyed from uh, really everything I've ran here from trucks to Xfinity and now in Cup. Um, the repave changed it a lot here last year and um, you know made it quite a bit different than what it was. A little bit different. I uh, I've enjoyed it so far. It's been a it's been a fun track, but uh, yeah, I always like coming down here. I love the track. Really like the area as well, and uh, it's just one of my favorite places we get to go to. And I don't know the new kids on the block. So I was <laughs> I was born in 1996, and the last yes, year were. the last year they were a group was 1995. So uh, they asked me what new kid on the block I was, and I was like, man, I got to be honest with you, I have no idea. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, I saw it. It was cool. It made me laugh. I like the uh, I like the sign they put next to it better. I think it's uh, you know it's it's just cyclical. I mean, we haven't had a young crop of guys all enter the sport at once in I don't know probably 15 years now. Uh, and when you see this many young guys coming at once, obviously I think NASCAR's done a good job of trying. Uh, to promote us and give us, you know, an advantage early on to get our names out there and get some more fans and get some more exposure. And, you know, we all appreciate it. I mean, we're willing to, uh, you know, to take advantage of those events. And I think Blaney said it well a few, well, I guess it was back at Media Day now in Charlotte. I think we're just more willing to take some of these opportunities um, that they're they're not willing to. You know, a lot of them have families and want to spend as much time at home as they can. And, you know, for us to, to take a, a trip to you know, wherever, uh, or, or spend some extra time somewhere isn't as big of a deal. We got our wedding in. Uh, we did it on the Saturday because we didn't want an April Fool's Day wedding, which happened to be Easter this year as well, and um, didn't want our anniversary to be a, a big joke every every year. So <laughs> we tried to make that um, make that work out, but it was a good time. I thought he was gone by then. I didn't know he was still <laughs> watching. I. Um, yeah, so uh, we took dance lessons, and um, we did two two lessons, and uh, uh, the woman that did it did a fantastic job. We uh, we went uh, went into like I believe it was Uptown Charlotte. We met up with her, and uh, she said, "All right, tell me what uh, what you want to know." And, and first off, tell me what you already know. I said, "Well, I don't know anything. I can't sway. Like I can't even do that. I can't just sit here and act like I know what I'm doing." She's like, "Okay." She's like, "And what do you want to learn?" I said the dirty dancing lift at the end, and she said, "All right, <laughs> we're gonna back that down a little bit." So uh, we compromised, um, and it actually came out really good. We were able to uh, to at least look like we had uh, some clue of what we were doing out there. Putting a full race together, you know, I thought we had a good shot to win this thing last year, and um, we kind of got behind a little bit on on some strategy stuff and pick calls, and uh, we had a good race here in the in the fall as well, but. Um, I think it's a good start to the year for our team. I think Ford in general um, obviously has a ton of speed, and it's, it's nice to be in that camp. Obviously, we'd like to get a win over on the Penske side, but uh, you know when, when Ford's winning, it's uh, it's helping everybody. But um, I think everyone's really we're really close. We just need to close that little bit a uh, little bit of a gap. That was really neat. I've been to the uh, you know Cowboy Stadium before about five years ago uh, where they play and that was really cool it's now to see that new training facility they got I think that's only a year and a half old they were saying and it's uh it's amazing I know if I was a, a college kid coming out looking to try to figure out what team to go to I'd, I'd sell me and sign me up where do I sign and um, it's really impressive uh, we sat in their war room and had dinner where the draft happens where they sit there for the draft which is a uh, really cool so they, they opened it up to us a lot and you know Ford and the Cowboys made that happen and then Playing flag football, uh, I've never played football, um, you know, professionally or as a kid or nothing like that. Only like pick up and it's. Um, I think it was seven on seven, and, and it's uh, it's good that it's uh, eleven players on each side because that's a that's a big field. It's a lot of ground to cover, and we were huffing and puffing. I've heard the new kids on the block. I'm never listening to any of their songs. I might know a song. Uh, no, that's not him. I thought <laughs> I got. I got them and Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch mixed up. Brothers. <laughs> the brothers and the new kids on the block. Well, I got I got half of it right, relation. But um, I thought that was pretty funny. I saw a picture of it last night. I, I don't know who tweeted it, uh, Gluck or somebody. But uh, I thought that was that was pretty neat. Um, Eddie's always done really well at, at kind of making things fun and light and things like that. And then I saw the average age sign, <laughs> the small one next to it, and I thought that was pretty funny.